your best programmers are your operators. So a guy that would maybe traditionally run a, what I would say more standard milling machine, I would train them how to program this machine on our cam systems. They know what the end result needs to be, so we would take them instead of standing in front of the machine loading parts, you're programming the next job. You're prepping the next job. You're ordering the tooling for the next job. Uh, one guy can do all those things, programming, prepping, uh, manufacturing, engineering, and load the machine, and go home on time. It makes your skill set of your operators different in a good way. You're teaching them higher level skills other than how to load a part in the machine. So it really, it really just takes everything up to the next level. So it's pretty cool. Hello and welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC North America. I'm with my buddy Bruce today and we are at Precision Products. As you can see, we're standing in front of one of the incredible Matt Sur machines. Now what's unique about this whole situation is quite a few things that I'd like to describe, but Bruce is the expert, so I'm just going to give you a quick summary. We're running graphite in here, and typically we're running graphite wet, although today we kind of want you to see it. This Matsura machine is six years old at the moment, has never needed maintenance, still running tents, and in the world of graphite, for those of you who also love machining graphite, you know the complications that can happen from sometimes. So Bruce, thank you so much for being here with MTD. All right, thank you. Appreciate so it. let's talk a little bit about this because I know this one's about six years old right. It inspired you to buy a second one and it looks like you're headed now to a third ma'am machine Right, but let's talk a little bit about how this one has created confidence in each of your steps moving forward based on its reliability Yeah, we bought this machine. Uh, it's a smaller envelope machine. It's the LX 160 and one of the parts that we do on it we do a lot of uh, closure tooling for the molding industry so making the electrode is always a pain we used to have traditionally numerous steps. We'd turn, we'd grind, we'd mill the electrode. Well now with this machine, uh, we put the raw piece of graphite in, we take the finished electrode out, already on a 3R tooling, goes directly into our EDM. So it's really made our electrodes very cheap to make, uh, being 42 pallets. Uh, it'll run all weekend. I have enough, enough electrodes to run 100 cavities. So it's really, really taking us to the next level. So. And you mentioned 42 pallets but we also have 338 38. tools and right. a 46,000 RPM spindle with an HSK-40 taper. Right, so with the high RPM spindle, we go down to a .2 diameter end mill, which is 8,000. So when you get that small, uh, RPM is everything. Um, also, we do uh, a little bit of grinding on it in the graphite. So um, you're talking jig grinding speed, 40,000, 46,000. So, uh, very efficient, um, just been very thrilled with it, you know, so love it to death. So. And this thing is incredibly quick. Yes. And you mentioned three jobs are now one job. Originally you were doing that manually, am I correct in thinking that? And now you're doing all right. three of those jobs on this machine incredibly quick. Right, it's, it's uh, the old school way, you know, you used to make a part round, then you would mill it and drill it or grind it. We were doing all those pure manual. Um, so the electrodes were expensive, over $100 a piece. So by taking and, and, and eliminating the person, it's almost labor free. You mount the raw material, um, you turn the machine on, you come in on Monday, you have 40 finished electrodes that may have cost you $10 a piece. Ready to go, higher accuracy, already on the 3R pallet, ready to go in the EDM. You just load it in your pallet changer on your EDM and you hit the go button and off you go. So it's made the electrodes extremely cheap, very cheap. This allows you to run your lights out machining even through the weekend with 42 pallets, 338 uh, different tools on here. So you right. can set it and forget it, right? Yeah, that's, that's obviously the thing with the Matsura, the automation, the lights out. You know, that's what it's built to do and it does it very well. Um, you know, we, we, this is a small envelope machine, the LX160. We have the MX330 PC10. Uh, our next machine will be a MAM 7235V. Uh, and then we'll see what happens after that. So. It's, it's a lot of the same mindset, combining operations, reducing the labor, automating it, getting out of the way, let the machine do what it does, and it, it works every time. So, Well, that's what happens when you have the accuracy. If, you're, if we're reducing right. that run out, when we have that rigidity and the RPM that you mentioned of 46,000 RPM, that's how you know you're going to get greater tool life. You know, that's, right. that's what's needed. The smaller we get, that surface feet going around, it just, we have to have higher RPM the smaller we go. 
Right, this, this machine is also driven by linear magnets. It's not a traditional, what I would call, ball screw machine. It's a linear magnet machine, meaning it's very fast, very accurate. In the event of a crash, it's the original spindle from six years ago. It uh, runs 46,000 RPM all day. It's been wrecked a few times, but the machine reacts so quickly to a crash, it doesn't damage itself. And it'll break the tool, but it won't damage the spindle, which is, which is really great because everybody wrecks a machine. If they've ever run one, don't wreck it. But uh, we've had great luck because of the speed of the reaction of the machine itself. So. This thing seems really quiet. And when I think of something that's running 25,000, 30,000, 40,000 RPM, I think it's a bit more pitchy, like I'm going to a dentist's office, right? But I'm not hearing that from this. What have you done that's unique on this Matt Sura machine? Well, this machine, um, we have it in a very small room. There's only about a foot of clearance above the machine to the ceiling. Uh, we actually added a soundproof box to the top of the machine. So it's encasing the top of the spindle into a, a box that has sound deadening material inside of it. So uh, 20,000 RPM, you don't even know it's running. 46,000, you'll hear a little bit of a whine but we can stand here and talk and have a conversation without being annoyed at all. So we just uh, just kind of made it a little better for our situation and uh, works great. Well, Bruce, I look forward to coming back in and seeing you with that brand new MAM machine and talking about how that one's helped you as well. But for now, thank you so much for sharing your story with this yep. global audience at MTD. All right. Really appreciate you and wish you all the success moving forward. All right. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it.